Today's the day of the Immortal Sport Martok 10K. So without further ado, we're ready to run. Hi viewers, so I'm back from the Martok 10K. This is a race organised by Immortal Sport and is run on the road surrounding Martok in Somerset. The race is close to a figure eight style route and takes in some light elevation along with some quite long straights. There's a few nice downhill sections as well, so this is one certainly favoured by those seeking personal best. So I got up on the day around about 7am and took in a light breakfast. Normally for breakfast I go for something like bran flakes, a little milk, Today I had some toast as well, uh, some seeded bread with some uh, maple syrup. Oh, it was great, really nice. Um, I felt like I'd eaten a little bit too much, but um, I'll tell you later on, it did work for me. Washed it all down with a little black coffee with a little sugar. Uh, not the breakfast of champions, but it works for me. After some range of motion stretching for around about 20 minutes and some kit preparation, I decided to start heading over to the race around about 8.30. Arriving at the race, parking was dead easy. There were loads and loads of places to park. Uh, there were lots of runners already there. It was very busy. I wasn't really sure as to exactly where I was supposed to be going, but I followed the other runners and it was literally just a couple of minutes down the road to get to the race HQ, which held both the start and the finish. As I did leave in the car to get over to the race, there was a massive downpour of rain. I was really worried because I was counting on wearing my uh, AeroSwift shorts and just my club vest along with the uh, Gakuso Vaporfly 4%. Fortunately, that weather didn't come to anything. The rain disappeared, it dissipated, and everything was dry uh, when I got to the race. A huge number of Yeovil Town Running Club members were already there. It was really great to see so many faces that I knew, lots of familiar faces, and not so familiar faces too. Around about 20 minutes before the race, I utilised my Science in Sport gel. I took one of the orange ones. They're my favourite, really, out of that whole uh, multi-pack that I've bought. The, this is, there's some flavours there that I really don't like, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, you know, if anybody's up for some free gels, let me know in the comments. I think there were around about somewhere in the region of 500 runners taking part in the race today. Uh, so it really felt like you were part of something, a really great event, uh, something sometimes in this area, you kind of lack that huge sort of community spirit, um, it being a smaller sort of market town, but it felt really great to have so many runners there. Especially good as well, I think there was a charity event going on in, in Yeovil, a 5k race, and there were about 500 people there too, so a really great day for running in the local area. So after a quick rendition of Happy Birthday for Laura Costigan, who uh, I believe was taking part in the race as well, uh, the race kicked off at 9.30 on the dot. So I was really up for going for a PB today. I consciously started off at a more reserved pace of around about 4 minutes 15 per kilometre. So the first couple of kilometres saw the typical jostling for places and everything kind of evened out and settled down around about three kilometres. Just after that, when I encountered some of the hills, I call them, some, some people found the hills really bad today uh, when I was talking to them after the race, but I didn't really feel like that at all. The hills didn't feel too bad. I don't know why that's just some good training I've been doing, but I felt I had good power, managed to move up the hills, kept it consistent, and even managed to overtake a few people, uh, which filled me with a bit of confidence. So when I reached the five kilometre mark, I looked at my watch and realised I had a really good chance of reaching a personal best for the 10k distance. I'll throw this split time for 5k up on the screen for you here. I can't remember what it was offhand, but I really felt quietly confident for my position and also how I kind of felt uh, physically at that point in the race, and it really gave me a boost. So progressing on at around about four miles, I felt really, really good at that point. I pushed on at six minutes 40 per mile pace, and I found the straight nature of the course really helpful. There was some really, really beautiful scenery to take in on this race, guys. I found myself looking around. It really put me at ease. Yeah, I'm a country boy. I like my space. I like my peace of mind. It was really nice to look around 
and just see some really nice countryside. Kind of took my mind off the fact that I was doing a race. Uh, it didn't feel too tough this time round. The last 10k I did um, back in the Easter Bunny, uh, the Ovalton race uh, in April, that was tough. I found that really difficult uh, around about three or four kilometers. I'd just gone out too fast. I couldn't take in any of the surroundings. This time round, it was a totally different story. So towards the very end of the race, there was a very sharp kind of dog leg turn, which put me around a corner and two runners decided they were gonna try and push past me at that stage and overtake me but I was having none of that. So I accelerated up through the finish line at four minutes 30 per mile pace. So now I know just for a few seconds how it feels to be Eliud Kipchoge. I hadn't come all this way with all the training that I've been doing to be pipped at the post like that by a couple of people on the last turn. So I really found some inner strength there, pushed through at a ridiculous pace. I didn't realize I could run quite that fast, even for you know 50 meters or something. It was, it was nuts. I was really, really pleased with my Strava time. I came in somewhere around 42.41, uh, which was unbelievable. Strava clocked it at 6.31 miles, at around about six minutes 45 per mile. Official results have me in at 42 minutes, 46 seconds, 28th overall in the race out of 500 runners, and eighth in the category of 40 to 49 years. Also, first in for the club as well. I was re really proud to do that. I really couldn't quite believe it, really, um, from where I've come in a year of running, really, a year of kind of concentrated running. I'm so pleased to have reached this point. And with this race, it's really my proudest achievement of all. When I first did a time 10K back in October of 2018, I came in just under 54 minutes. So I've managed to smash off 12 minutes off that. That's crazy. Still taking it in a little bit today, and the legs feel good. I'm gonna be heading out to do a bit of training after I've finished off the video. But I'm not gonna spend this whole video celebrating my own achievements. I want to celebrate that of others. Even better than breaking my PB, we're seeing all those other friends uh, and also club members coming through and achieving great times as well. I've got a long list of people here that I want to give shout outs to and I didn't want to forget anybody. Um, I'm really sorry if I do, but I'd like to give shout outs to Charlie, Graham, Mark Burton, Jeff, Tim, Richard and Rob and Ian as well. So many others from the club as well who produced superb efforts over the 10k distance today. Some of them have been training really, really hard over several weeks um, with Graham Still to improve their time. So well done to all of you. Sorry if I've missed anybody from the list. I really do, but there's so many of you today. I felt really proud to see you all coming in. There was a really great medal to show for our efforts today. I'll throw a couple of images up on screen for you. Immortal Sport always have some super medals and this was no exception. I do highly recommend this race to any runners. If you're trying to beat your personal best, this is the race for you. There's some elevation, but there's also some downhills and some straights to kind of even things out. So another fantastic race for Immortal Sport. I'm looking forward to the next one. Okay, that's all for me for today, guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for making it to the end of the video. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment down below. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.